Hi, my name is Kent. I'm the creative specialist on the Google Web Designer team, and I'd like to show how to get started creating custom dynamic creatives for Google Ads. First, I want to point out that you must be approved for this type of ad before getting started. Contact Google Ads support for more info. Generally, I start with a template, which is much easier, but just to demonstrate the basics, and you can work this way if you like, I'll start with a new blank file. Change the environment to Google Ads, give it a name, and I have some other optional settings here I can leave as is. With the text tool, draw a rectangle and key in some placeholder text, which is optional. Then I want to rename this in the Layers panel. I'll call it item-title-txt. Now I can make this dynamic by right-clicking the element and selecting Dynamic Bindings from the Context menu, or I can open up the Dynamic panel on the Bindings tab, click the little Add icon in the bottom corner. The first thing I need to do is specify my data schema, which means the type of feed I'm using. Normally that's already set up before I start working in Google Web Designer, but in case it's not, here's some background. Retail feeds are created in the Google Merchant Center, GMC, and used to sell products like shoes or phones. Everything else is a business data feed, and the two systems are completely different. Business data feeds include most of these verticals, like custom and hotels and rentals, and each one has a different combination of data fields, so the choice of which one to use depends on the information you want to show. For example, if I want to show star ratings, then I need to use the hotels and rentals feed. If I have an education business, but I want to show prices, then I'm in trouble because prices aren't available in the education vertical, so I might use custom, which supports more fields. For this reason, custom is popular, so I'll choose custom. Now I can select that text element by the name we gave it in the Layers panel, and I can set its text content to an item in my feed. Index means which number, and refers to what we call a payload, or the six items that have been selected from my entire product feed. So I may have a thousand items in my feed, and when this ad is shown, the six most relevant products for each user are selected, and that's the group I'm working with. So I always start with index zero because that's the first, most relevant product. But it's also possible that only four products were found, so another reason to start with zero. Note that index zero is probably a different product each time the ad is shown, so this really means show my best match first. Next I have these nine values available for each item, and I'll choose the title, which in this case is the name of my product. The tab key commits the change, and OK closes the dialog. Now to see the result, change the dynamic panel to sample data, and I'll select this built-in feed called Five Product Feed, and now I see dynamic text in this field. A word about these sample data feeds. They're only for preview convenience in Google Web Designer and have no effect on the published ad. I can upload this file to my Google Ads account right now and see my real data, but it's usually helpful to see that info here while I'm working. So to change the sample data, I can double-click to edit the content in this sample feed, I can also import sample data by selecting a JSON file, create a new sample feed, which creates a new blank feed. I can add a feed to my library. And what I'm going to do is load a feed from my library, which already has my products in it. And when I select it, I'll see my text. Now I'll create a dynamic image with the tag tool and image modifier change scaling from stretch to resize, then right-click Dynamic Bindings and set the source to my image URL, and I'll see my product photo. Note with no sample data selected, over my Properties panel, Image, Source, I can select a placeholder image. And a shortcut to doing so is just to drag an image onto the stage and make it dynamic. But neither way is the best practice because the placeholder image will also be downloaded and we really only want the dynamic images loaded. Between these two, text and images, you can handle most dynamic creative issues. One last thing is the dynamic exit. This has to be set on a tap area, so my components panel 
drag a tap area to the stage. This is the clickable hotspot, and I can use it like a div to wrap in structure elements. Right click, Dynamic Bindings, and choose Exit Override URL. And I'll set this to my landing page URL. To verify this work, I'll preview and click, and I see my correct landing page. That about does it for the basics of dynamic authoring. So next, let's walk through a real ad creation from start to finish. Here's the design I want to build. As I said, I usually start with a template, which gives you a head start with some of the setup complexity. File, New from Template, opens the template gallery, and I can click this yellow icon, Dynamic Remarketing for Google Ads, to see all 23 templates on the left. It's simplest to use the template with the same feed vertical you're using, and you can see each template lists some key info, like Dynamic Vertical, and Components, like Swipe Gallery or Star Ratings. I see this one has the layout I need, three items, no gallery, but the vertical is hotels and rentals. And maybe I need the custom vertical. One way to shorten this list is to use the filtering panel by clicking the magnifying glass. Then I can set the dynamic vertical. I'll use custom, and I have a lot of other filtering options here, but I'll just proceed by clicking the main icon again and see my list is shortened to seven templates now. But none have the three item layout I'm looking for. So I'll remove the filter and go back to that one that looked the best. I can use the preview button to get a better look. This has a responsive version, but to keep things simple, I'll just use 300 by 250 and preview. Now I see the dynamic browser preview. Under sample data, I can focus on just one data set and hit the replay button to see I have some autoplay animation. and some rollover action. Looks good, let's go ahead and use this. Back in Google Web Designer, click Use Layout, give it a name, and Create. Now I'll make changes like updating my logo, my headline text, and the font, my background color, and even layout changes. I'll delete the disclaimer, move my logo up, Move my items down and make them taller. And I'll load my product feed. Now I'll preview, and I see a few changes I want to make. I see these empty star ratings because my feed doesn't include them. Regardless, if my vertical is different from the template, like in this case, I need to update it, and here's how. In my dynamic panel, click the plus icon, then change to the data schema tab. Now I can select the custom vertical, and accept this. And I see all my bindings, and it's a good idea to go through and double check each one 
reselect each one of these bindings to make sure it's really available in my new feed. So for example, ratings is not available. So I'll delete this binding. Now back in my file, I don't need those empty star ratings, so I'll delete those components. And I can continue editing like this, changing colors and fonts, but just to save time, let's try one last preview and do some QA checks, in addition to the add validator, which I see is giving me the green light now. Adjust to show only my feed. Open DevTools, Command Option I on the Mac. Clear the log and reload the ad. Now I'm checking for errors, which will be shown in red. Next, confirm my ad exits correctly, which in this case logs the product number I clicked on. And this looks OK. So everything looks good. It's time to publish. I'll choose Publish, Locally, select Zip, and Publish. Then in Google Ads, I need to be in a dynamic account with the correct vertical, custom in this case. I'll upload my ad, choosing that zip we just created, and I'll see a preview page like this. That does it for my intro to Custom Dynamic in Google Ads. Thanks for watching.